Uh, thank you, uh, Darren. And I think the answer to this is yes. I, I, I support the principle of a, a fair pay ratio. And uh, I'm very happy to say that functional bodies should put their information about the highest and lowest paid staff on their websites, along with a declared commitment to fair pay principles. Thank you. Good. Um, City Hall has led the way on this, but the rest of the functional bodies haven't followed. So could you use your, uh, your influence as mayor to ensure that the rest of the functional bodies come into line with, uh, with City Hall on this? Yes. Thank you. That's really helpful. Um, also, would you agree to um, write to your 20 biggest contractors asking them to um, disclose similarly their um, executive pay and the difference between the lowest and highest paid employees? if they're delivering public services and that they're being paid public money for, then surely the same principle should apply to them, as the Hunt Report makes clear. Well, let me, uh, let me think about that, Darren. Let me think about that and think about And I, I will consult with um, um, my colleagues about uh, how that would work and, and, and um, the impact that would have on our, our contracts. And I, I, I mean, I, I, it's, just, it's not something that you've... Um, uh, put to me before uh, whether whether or not we can compel uh, private businesses to adopt particular um, remuneration uh, policies. I I I, I doubt. Um, let me let me think about that. This this is an issue about disclosure though, and the the Hutton Review recommendation does make clear that all organisations delivering public services should be required to make that information transparent. Mm. That's well, not yeah. unreasonable, is it? Let, 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 me, let me take that away. I'll look at it. 